Welcome to Brother Frank TV, beautiful people. Today, I'm at the Wayne County Jail. That's right, we are going to jail. And this is going to be really fantastic. But before we head in and check this place out, cue the intro, please. All righty, before we head in, I'm going to let you know a little bit about it, but as always, the info I will put in the description as well as any links that are available. So the Wayne County Jail was built in, I believe, 1856, and it was used until 1960. It does have 24 cells. It has original inmate artwork. In 1860, they had an inmate named William Fee. He was convicted for murder and the only inmate to be hung here. So let's get ready to head on inside and check out everything it's got to offer. Alrighty, and here we go. We've now entered the building and we will definitely get around to this part a little bit later. Let me give you a sneak peek. Yep, that's right. Here are some of the original cells. That's right. And there are more cells up there, but because of insurance reasons, we will not be allowed to go up there plus it's mostly used for storage now so there's not much to see but we'll get back to this let's see what's going on and this place is open for anyone who wants to come it is believed to be haunted they say the spirit of the man who was hung here william fee roams the cells and we'll get a little bit into that here we go mannequins which always have a way of creeping me out here's some of the attire that would have been worn back in the day it's also where the sheriff resided here as well with his family i believe upstairs but i'm going to put the info because i do not want to give you something wrong whoa look at this one right here boy oh boy and um as always we do have the good meter going and we will get into the necrophonic now. Oh, cool dollhouse. Getting a little blurry here. Not sure why. And you can see I have to already have the light on it, even though it's daytime. But the fabulous 50s. Now, you guys know I normally like to do a tour and then do an investigation but because of the time frame that I have to work with we won't be doing that we'll be compressing it together as we move along here so we'll be heading upstairs shortly Ooh, I'm not sure what's going on down there So that just circled us back around and let's go right ahead and come check out i think this was kind of like where they'll have the sheriff's office and whoa there we go i believe that may resemble the sheriff back in the day jerry collins here he is right here you be the judge of that here we go um could have been one of the uniforms, as you can see. Sheriff's office could have been. Oh, some of the badges. 
some wonderful, wonderful things here. Here goes, I think they called this guy the Bubblegum Bandit. Check him out. <laughs> to me, he's got that cool James Dean look, but I guess he was nicknamed the Bubblegum Bandit. Not sure why, but if I find out, I'll let you know. Now here's really cool stuff. This is not, none of this is a prop. These are all real guns and knives that were used in criminal acts right here. And here is the knife from Rose. I don't want to say her last name, but I'll pop it right there for you. I don't think she killed her husband, but she was here. They had men and women here. They separated the women. And that was the cell upstairs that we can't get into. And once again, it's basically used for storage. But because of insurance reasons, we're not going to head there. Alrighty. Wow, this is pretty cool. Just the bathroom, but you know, we always like to let you know Brother Frank loves you. Yes, yes, maybe. Brother Frank loves you. Alrighty, as we continue on our journey, as you can see, it gets pretty dark in here, even during the day. Good creepy chair, let's give it light though. Good creepy chair one, good creepy chair two. Also, there's like a carriage barn in the back. So, and we will, oh, and here we have jail cells yes 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 we will be investigating these jail cells real soon okay so this brings us around pretty much full circle there you go that's back to the women's cells and we've pretty much done the whole first floor minus the jail cells and we're going to head upstairs because I think I'd like to put here we go we'll take a quick look in here here you go, you can see it's got all the original jail cells. That's amazing in there and really good shape. I gotta tell you that. So we'll go, we'll head back in here. Now, as I was saying, the carriage barn, let's head up the stairs. The carriage barn is believed to be extremely active. They actually had a, um, a medium, two mediums that came here to investigate it. One medium absolutely would not walk into there. I'm not sure if that's because there were aggressive spirits, perhaps demonic, but she would absolutely not go up there. So let's head on upstairs and check out the upstairs here. And then come down and check out the jail cells. Alrighty, here we go. Okay, we made our way upstairs. Brother Frank loves you. Yes, yes, yes. Huh? We run into some some dolls. Now this is the upstairs where the sheriff and his family would have resided. Pretty cool. Wow, that's an amazing dollhouse. Whoa. And uh, bed. We definitely have, you know, a meter going at all time. Check these out. Wow. And like I said, I'm kind of on a time restraint here. This was like a four hour drive for me, but they uh, were so kind to allow me to come here and give me like a three hour window in here. But 
I just want to make sure that we don't miss anything. So that's why I'm compressing. Oh, look at these dolls. <laughs> dolls will always give you a little creepy vibe. Let's get a little action, zoom action. Oops, don't know what that noise was. As always, guys, leave me a timestamp and let me know if you see or hear anything. You guys were you're all so awesome at that. You helped me out so much already. And whoa. This is a dress believed to have been worn by Mildred Taylor. I'm not sure who she was, but she had something to do with. You know what? I'll put this here. You guys can put it on pause and read it if you'd like. But, oh, good. Always got to run into a good creepy chair. Like I said, I'll leave a link if you guys want to come here. For me, the jail cells alone are worth it to come here. The place is believed to be haunted. There's been many things caught here. I mean, that one story with the medium is pretty fascinating. I'll cut the light off here just to give you an idea. <laughs> it's, it's, it's dark up here, guys. I always like to look down the stairway. All right. So yeah, definitely a cool place to come investigate. You can call up, um, set it up. They're very nice. If you do call, let them know Brother Frank TV sent you here. They'll take good care of you. Kind of a military room. easy to find jails you know whether they're abandoned or you're able to go and check out I mean so far back so that's why I took advantage of coming here I didn't want to miss out in seeing it and especially being able to show it to you guys modeling this room so really there's nothing more to see so we'll just peek through this hole the eyes they never lie and I know you guys have asked me why I always say that about the eyes all right here's the deal if you guys ever watched the movie Scarface with Al Pacino well he always says he says while he's riding with his partner, the eyes, they never lie, Chico. So anyways, that's where that comes from. Whoa. You can really see, does that say Frank right there? Let's get a little zoom action on it. I think so. Oh, I just heard something downstairs from the jail cells. It's inexpensive if you want to come here. I mean, I mean, I always leave them a donation. Plus, I carved out a couple extra hours 
but it took me longer than expected to get here. That's why I'm a little shorter on time. <clears throat> I think you can come here and set up by the hour. I carved out three hours and I'm pretty sure you can call here and work out things. And I do suggest it. All right, let's head back down and let's, uh, let's head to the jail cells. <laughs> Yep, my knee is getting better, as you can see. There you go. Amazing amount of stairs. Let's cut back through here. Well, this mannequin got me three times already. Whoa, no face. Boy, this one gets me. Let's uh, make our way into the jail cells. All right, guys, you ready? There we go. That's right. Check it out. And if you see uh, some of the walls, it's got original artwork. So that's really cool. We do have the meter going. Here goes the cell right here. Check it out. So look at how small this cell is. Check it out, guys. Look at this. Look at how small this is where they had to stay. And some of these inmates had to stay in here for a while until, you know, until their court dates. So they could have, I, I, I mean, it's pretty amazing. That is really small and you can see the doors, they're solid. I mean, solid as can be. So, now here's that rose, right here's a picture. Remember I showed you the knife that she used? I think killing her husband. Well, that's her. That is Rose right there. Here goes Ed Edward Kelly. Another inmate. Thousand dollar reward for this guy. Oliver Curtis Perry. So these are some of the inmates that were here. artwork and a lot of these they have this on here we'll peek in but what it, they, they use it for storage so it's not even worth it to look in kind of takes away so that's why I just wanted to show you why I'm not going into those all right so let's go in here oh <sighs> some of these look so real at a quick glance when you're by yourself in this place Wow, it's eerie when you see the original artwork from them. Yeah, these doors are heavy. You weren't going anywhere. Here goes uh, another one. Here goes a chain in there. Small, just look at it. Small. Well, we're... What's up? Actually, had in here. All right, well, guys, we are. Check it out. We are in the jail now. We're actually in a cell. And, oh, here we go. We got some toilets. Wow, these are in tremendous condition to some of the toilets we see, like, in some of the asylums. Wow, look at that. I don't know, for some reason, they, they don't like to come in this back room. 
but I also set up the REM pod over here, as you can see it. We have the meter here, and we have the REM pod right here. And as you, if you don't know how it works, this has got to be touched, or you got to come near it. So I wanted to set this up inside of one of the cells with the bed in it. And let's see if anybody can come and touch that REM pod. Is there anyone here that can make that REM pod go off for us? We'll see. We'll be able to hear it if it goes off. That's for sure. We, can, we were also given special permission. They don't want anybody going up these stairs to go up to the second tier. But we've been given special permission to go up to the top here. But you're not allowed because fear of it's just not very strong so let's take a look at the cells from here I'm very thankful for this here we go we'll get some zoom action going down there we go there's also another another tier of cells which I think it's only one floor but we'll head over to there next and then we'll go bonus footage and we're gonna go into that carriage house where the medium would not go we are going brother Frank TV is going there all right so we're thankful that we were able to go as far as we did and take a look now we're going to go and set up in the other room. I'll bring the REM pod with me as well. All right. Let's head in to the other room where I also have my second REM pod set up. show it to you over here we have it set up right next to the noose we'll put a little light on it there you go we'll leave the meter on by and let's see as you can see that's how it works something's got to touch it or it will not go off now there's the noose that they keep here it is not the noose that hung the inmate William, but that is the crossbar that was used right there to hang him. That's right. That is the original crossbar. That's kind of eerie. And they put the noose there, obviously, to give it the, the good look. So let's take a look in here. And this is like the witness stand, believed to be original right here. And I'm not sure if it's the original to... To their you know to which particular inmate but it was original to the time or it could have been original to someone who went here so i don't want to confuse anything and here we go with some more uh oh i'm hearing something going off guys you heard that i heard something is uh william is believed to roam these halls that's the story william are you here can you touch that william can you touch that are you here? Okay. We'll hear if anybody touches it, any spirit touches it. I think this is like, uh, yep, this would be like the library. Check it out. Wow, I'm getting a real eerie feeling in here, guys. Really eerie. Oof. Really eerie. Amazing library. They have this place set up real well. I definitely encourage you to come here and check it out. There's not many 
jail cells that you can come and you can see and you can do investigation on especially at that price that's why I'm like no way you know gotta leave these guys donations and stuff check out this picture right here that's a great picture not sure if you can see it that might be too dark but look at that picture of the cells right there and look at how dark it is with the light off in the library wow Brother Frank loves you. Yep. All right, guys. Here's another picture. Wow, fabulous. Really cool. I'm hoping you can get the, a good look at it. We're going to get the necrophonic going now. So, all right. So we have gone through this entire Wayne County jail building now we're gonna get the necrophonic going and see well let's look through some of the jails first and remember i'm not gonna go into these because it's that means that they're using it for storage and i'll show there you go guys we got it william is that you there we go rem pod guys it never goes off look at that there's something with us right there. Look at that, guys. I'm far away from it. Look, guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. The REM pod is going off. Wow. And here you go. Look at that. You see what that says there? Part of the scaffold that was used to hang William Fee in 1860. I told you. I knew it was something original to the hang, but let me see if I can get that. It's a little blurry, but there you go. Wow, that REM pod rarely, if ever, goes off. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and let's get the uh, ne necrophonic going, guys. Wow, wow, look at that, guys. Look at the meter. The meter's going off. The REM pod's going off. Look at the meter, guys. Look at the meter, guys. And that meter is stingy. Wow. You know, as soon as I started to talk about this, William is here. I, I, would, I would say William is 100% here. William, can you make that REM pod go off again, William? I know you're here. Guys, we also have the necrophonic going. Let's get it going. Hello, hello, William. Are you here? William. Whoa. Whoa. I just heard a bang as well. Wow, guys! Incredible activity. We caught it. We caught it. William, are you here? Yes or no? How many are here? How many? How many are here? guys let's come back to the necrophonic we're gonna go into the cells now oh man I can't believe the activity we got here you go now if you're wondering how did these guys really go to the bathroom well let me show you that's it little pot right there and wow this is a creepy vibe in here look at those shoes man Holy cow. Yeah, this, this, uh, I can't recommend REM pod, guys. REM pod, guys. Here we go. We got to make that meter go off. Come on, anybody here? Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you so much for making... Thank you so much for making the REM pod go off. Sometimes you win. I've said it before. We're winning today. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose. Look at that. Some days it's the necrophonic that gets busy, but I want to show you some more. Whoa. Of these cells. Now here is Rose. Rose, are you here? Can you touch the REM pod, Rose? That's Rose. You've seen her picture? Wow. My hairs are all standing up on my arm. And you can see the drawings. And that REM pod is stingy. And I mean stingy. Does not, neither one of them go off. So, ain't nobody got to tell me why it's going off. I mean, what more proof do you need? <laughs> I mean, the, EM, the meter's going off, the necrophonic, I don't know what was going on there. But even now, the K-meter is going. K-meter's going, guys. And we, we still have to get out to that carriage the, the barn and back where the medium would not go into and I got about 45 minutes left wow <laughs> holy cow my heart's beating um, let's go ahead and get a little bit more microphonic and then we'll hello 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 whoa Can you make the REM pod go off again? And there's nobody in here with me, so nobody can be... I'm not collabing with anyone today, it's just me here. And the meter's going. It, it continues to go back and forth to the orange. So we definitely know there's activity in here. There's no doubt about it. We got it. So Here we go, guys. Here we go. Right there. Basically right in front of you. We caught it. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. William? Rose? Whoa, I heard yes. Is that you, Rose? Oh, thank you. Bye, guys. All right, we're going to have to close the necrophonic until we get into the barn because, I'm, like I said, I'm restricted. Time, but we got activity, man. We're not getting. Oh, all right. Let's take another pee in here. Let's put the REM pod inside the cell really quick. When I—that's me touching it. When you touch it, it goes up. Whoa! I shut off the. Look at that, guys. I shut off the necrophonic, and it's turned. It's turned on. Wow! How did it go off? It's on. It's off in my pocket. It's off, and it just started talking. Yeah, this place is active. Holy cow. Um, whoa, what is that noise? What is that? Look, 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 guys. Look, you can't make this up. You can't make this up. Look, look, guys. Look, you can't make this up. I do have another toy that I, well, tool, not toy, 
uh, laser grid, so to say. I'm not going to mess around with it too much today, only because it's short on time, but here you go. Just picked it up, and you can see the green right there, guys. See? The green. Let's pop it in the cell. You'll get to get a good look at it. Check it out. You see that, guys? Do you see that, guys? Do you look in the camera? Do you see that figure right in front of you, or no? Oh my goodness, do you see that figure right in front of you? Look. Wow. I'm seeing something. I'll turn it off. Turn the light on. Okay, now let's go back with the laser grid. Let's turn this off and let's go laser grid. Anyone there? Is anyone there? Show yourself. You seeing movement, guys? Wow, you seeing that movement? Thank you. This place is tremendously active. Tremendously active, guys. But we need to move on. We need to move on. That's for sure. Let's move on. We have to get ready for bonus footage. All right, guys, before we head into bonus footage, we got special permission to go in the basement here. Ready? As you can see, it's nice and dark. We'll hit our light right here, and let's head down. A lot of artifacts and stuff. Wow. Guys, I'm still, my heart's still beating. Can you believe the REM pod, what we caught? All right. Oh, it's pretty cool. You can check out some more of the stuff from their time. We won't spend too much time in here. I'll just show you some of it because we got to get into that carriage. I don't have much time left here. <sighs> Catch my breath. We do have the meter still going. I'm not the I'm not setting the REM pod up. I'll use it in the barn. We'll set it up. And I am not a ghost hunter. I am not. A paranormal investigator I do have lots of tools I do like to investigate and have fun but I do not claim to be a ghost hunter nor a paranormal investigator but I do like to have fun with it and it's certainly getting more interesting <laughs> that's uh, that REM pod just like it doesn't go off guys it doesn't so wow look at that Kind of like different ways of washing. Um, here goes the stove. Maybe they're how they would have slept back in the day. With what they would have slept with. Their, I don't know, pajamas or stuff like that. Another. But definitely recommend you uh, thinking about coming here you saw the activity you cannot dispute it or refuse it you just can't here's another stairway we're not going to go up that way because that door on the other side is locked and blocked with a chair fortunately and I don't know why people do it they had people come in and steal stuff and now it's loaded with cameras can't do it anymore oh check it out just do it the right way, guys. There's a right way and a wrong way. Do it the right way. Take a quick peek in here. See what we see. Nothing much in there. All right, guys. Let's get ready to go get our bonus footage. Yep, we're going to head into a place that the medium would not go into. Alright, let's 
say. Take care, guys, and thanks. I don't remember. I thought I closed that gate. Why is it open? Check it out, guys. I thought I closed this gate. I'm not sure why it's open. But maybe I opened it. I don't know. But anyways, let's get ready to go to the carriage house. And we'll head back. Some bonus footage now. Bonus footage, beautiful people. Alrighty, here it is. This is the carriage house, or the, I don't know, carriage, bar big barn. And this is where the medium came in up to the door and that's it would not go any further in this one in this place check this out look at how big daddy long legs is guys wow all right here we go we got our we need our light in here getting the meter going Here we go. Erie Canal exhibit right here. Horse bridge. There you go. You got a cool horse bridge. Very cool. This is a coach 1860. Wow. Is amazing as are the spider webs spiders don't really bother me I am getting like a creepy eerie feeling look at that bicycle right there in here I'm getting like an uncomfortable feeling wow see how dark it gets Even though it's daylight, it gets dark. That's for sure. It really does. Oh! Hey there! <laughs> Alright. Whoa. Blacksmith's Corner. Check that out. We're not getting any activity. Really cool. I'm not sure if it's down here or upstairs. I think upstairs is where. They say a lot of people feel stuff and don't spend a lot of time up there. And fortunately, I'm not able to anyway, so. Really hoping you're enjoying the video, but all right, guys. Wow, look at this. This is a creepy right here, or what? This chair, this, uh, I don't know, it's like a little baby carriage. Creepy. Maybe that's the original picture right there from the place, some of their horses. All right, well, here we go. This is, this is where they say the action is. Let's see. Let's see how safe it is and how comfortable it is up here. Already, everything is shaking. I don't like that. Uh, okay, well, wow. It's so warm up here.
Whoa. I just heard something. Did you guys hear steps? Like something right behind me? I'm hearing it again. You heard that, guys. Could just be a real creaky place. This is eerily quiet. I mean, nothing's going on in the meter. Ice harvesting right here. Cool little sleigh. That's the butter where they would probably, it says cheese and butter. So this is the ice corner. Here is barking lumber. Always good to see those hands there. It's definitely warm and an uncomfortable feeling in here. No, make no mistake about it. Wow, check that out. There goes the way they would have done their heating. All right, well, we went around this entire top floor. Not really. I mean, I'm feeling a little creepiness and a little airy feeling. Um, let me see. We'll try and set the REM pod up. Um, I don't have much time, but let's go ahead and put the meter down for a second and let's get the REM pod set up and let's see if we uh, get any activity here all right as you can see I'm just going to turn the REM pod on there we go we are on all right the REM pod I am putting it down and we will set it up right here right there there's the REM pod We'll set it up, and if there's anyone here, or maybe someone from the jail followed us up here, and they want to make that go off for us, let me know. Let us know. We would love to hear from you. We mean no harm, no disrespect. We have the meter going as well. And I'll say it one more time. This is where the medium would not up here we'll hear it if it goes off we will hear the REM pod I don't have time to run the necrophonic we'll save that for another trip because I do have a couple places that I'm going to be filming in the area later this month Like I said, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. We got a ton of activity out of that jail, but we're not getting any up here. Anybody want to touch the REM pod before we close out here? William Fee, would you like to let us know you're here? Rose or anyone? Okay. All right, guys, we're going to get ready to close out the duckies. What I'll do is I'll, we'll try the REM pod downstairs real quick. 
And then when I it's going to see as soon as you go near it, it makes a noise. So I'll shut it off. Nothing went off up here. Not the meter. Not the REM pod. And we all know how it works. That's for sure. All right, let's go back down these stairs, which I I, I really don't like these stairs. They're like, well, I thought I heard a noise over there. Okay. All right, let's head down. Yeah, these these shade stairs are shady. I'm taking my time going down these. That's for sure. We'll set the rum pot up down here. find a spot for the REM pod and we'll see if anything goes off. All right, and you can see when I touch it, it goes off. It, that's You heard it just a second ago. All right, we're getting ready to close out. If there's any spirits that would like to, the REM pod is set up for you. How about you? Hey, Paisan. Paisan. He's a blacksmith, though, but that guy does got a nice mallet right in his hand. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this place. We can't, I can't really dispute or debunk the REM pod and the meter going wild. I encourage you guys that are in, that like to check this stuff out, come here. See it for yourself. Um, you won't be disappointed. I mean, you win some, you lose some, but anyways, guys, we're about ready to close out this video, that's for sure. And... That's really all I got for you guys. So until our next adventure, this vlog is over.